everybody, and welcome back to Pokemon Sword! And we're off! One last thing before you race. Tripmon, see, I've got some great advice for you. You know how you sometimes see Pokemon wandering about of the tall grass, yeah? If you move real slow like and crouch down, those Pokemon won't pay you any notice. Huh. But on the other hand, if you whistle and then you'll be sure to catch their attention. Oh, you whistle at them. If you're a bit rubbish at whistling, just remember this. Need a fail-proof trick? Press the left stick. Try it out. Let's see what who can catch the most Pokemon, Tripmon. You you got it. You remember uh, Wedgehurst Station, right? Where we met, where we went to pick up uh, Lee before. That'll be the goal. So see you there. All right. Uh, left stick. Huh. Neat. I think I caught everything around here, though. Oh, the Emperor. Excuse me. No, I didn't. <laughs> Zigzagoon. Okay, checks. Can I believe in you? Struggle bug! Ow. Oh, that could have killed! But he's in prime catching range. Alright. Pokeball, go! Ha-ha! Zigzagoon was caught! Galahad, Galahad leveled up. Awesome. Alright. Its recklessness has it constantly running around. If it sees another Pokémon, it will purposely run into them in order to start a fight. What?! Yeah, why not? Let's think, what do we want to give the nickname? Uh... Thug. Uh, why not? Let's see, who do we want to get rid of then? It's a normal and dark type. I have two normal types. Benson. Sorry, Benson. Let's uh, take a look at uh, Thug. All right. Sand attack lick. Okay. Let's go. Come on, Dripmon! You'll never beat me to the station at that pace! Not if the cutscenes keep happening, I won't beat you. I'm just saying. Heal me, please. Thank you. And... 
Let's, uh, let's, let's get Yamper out here. Now we have Eins. Sorry, checks. So, out with it, Tripmon. How many did you catch? I caught a real special one. And you got yourself? Oh, just one. Looks like we're at a draw. Though we are rivals and all. So that's fair. I got TM40 Swift! Ooh, Swift. Put in my bag. Star-shaped rays of are shot at opposing Pokemon. This attack never misses. That's a technical machine. A TM, mate! With a TM like that, you can teach your Pokemon a new move in a flash. And you can use them again and again, too. That one can teach the move Swift. Lee gave it to me ages ago, and now it's yours! The gym challenge will begin in Moto Stoke. And our train's waiting. So let's go! First, I want to see if anyone can learn Swift. Everyone but sheep. Actually, teaching you the thug is not a bad idea. Uh, let's get rid of Leer. One, two, and... Ta-da! Thug forgot Leer and learned Swift. Awesome. Not to quite so fast, you two! Uh-oh. What are you doing here, Mum? I knew this day was coming since the moment you chose Sobble as a partner, darling. Professor Magnolia was kind enough to let us know what you two were setting out. Oh, that you're... That you two were setting out. So here, at l a last little gift to see you well, uh, well set on your way. All the kit you'll need for camping. I got a camping gear. Put in my bag. Everything you need to set up a tent and get cooking in the wild area. Or at a camping spot. No matter what happens out there, if you and your partner are together, I know you'll be fine. Thanks, Mum. And just think how lucky you are, mother to the first ever pair of champion brothers! Because I'm certain to be the next champion. You'll see. Of course you will be, darling. Anyway, do have fun and take care of yourselves. You'll be welcome back home anytime. We're off! Wish, you, wish, wish us luck. Not that we'll need it. There are loads of brilliant trainers and all kinds of Pokemon out there waiting for us. My excitement's running ahead of me. Oh, ahead of me even faster than that train can go, Tripmon. Come on, we're off! Motostoke is surrounded by a vast wild area. It's a real sight. There are all sorts of wild Pokemon just wandering about everywhere you look. Plus, you can camp out and do spot on spot of fishing. I don't think I could ever get tired of it. So enjoy your trip to Motostoke. This has been your train conductor. Have a good day. Hey, uh, Mr. Station Master, isn't this the wild area? What, what are we, what are we stopped here for? Yes, uh, this is the wild area station. Make no mistake. I'm sorry to tell you that the train is halted due to a flock of Wooloo on the tracks. What? There's a, what's there to be sorry about? This is brilliant! M brilliant? This wild area is massive. There are loads of Pokemon to battle here. You get it, don't you, Tripmon? This is the best possible place to put together the greatest team ever! 
And there he goes. Hey, you and Evie had a... Nah, it's just my imagination. Sorry to bother you. Hey, have you and Pikachu had a... I knew it! You had a Let's Go experience with Pikachu, didn't you? I hope you'll have another Let's Go experience with this Pikachu, too. I received Pikachu! Oh, yeah. Gotta finish that. E. Pikachu that can generate powerful electricity have cheek sacks that are extra soft and super stretchy. Nah. Oh no, I didn't want I didn't want to add to party. Send to the box. The Pikachu I gave you is very special. You should try Dynamaxing it. It seems like my children are giving something to people who've had a Let's Go experience. What in the world's a Let's Go experience? Do you have an idea? I think my kids are crazy. Ooh. Sway Nub. We can get back to Wedgehurst if you'd like, but Motostoke is off the menu for now. It wouldn't be very decent of us to try to drive off those Pokemon just because we happen to want to run our train here, now would it? You'll run into stronger wild Pokemon the farther you go into the wild area. It feels like you're in a pinch during a battle. Just use a Poke Doll. Here, have five! I have tons of them! No matter how strong a Pokemon is, you'll be able to catch it eventually, so long as you join the gym challenge and gather the gym badges. Hello. Hi there. Would you like to rest your Pokemon? Uh, sure. I'll take your Pokemon for a few seconds then. There. All happy and healthy. Good luck and take care. Hey, Hop. Look at that! Uh. Yes, it's very nice. That's Motostoke. Way off that way. And between there and here are countless new Pokemon waiting to be met! Oh, hello! And if it isn't Sonia! My gran gave me a proper earful in her own way. Those two young and young trainers are setting out on a journey! But what are you doing with your life? That sounds rough. Ouch, Professor. Oh, never you mind that. Nothing to worry yourselves over. Besides, I'd been quite curious about that Pokemon you two met in the forest. I'd been thinking I should look into it, so the timing works out fine. If I discover something really huge, then maybe even Gran will admit I've got some talent. Yikes! Being an adult has got its own challenges, eh? I said you need to worry about it. I'm glad to I'm glad to be on the road. Really, it's been ages. It'll be great fun to fish and camp and rough it outside again. Well, I'm off to stick my head in as many of those red glowing dens as I can find! I'm going to battle the snot out of a bunch of Dynamax Pokemon to fill in another page. You know what page that is? In the tale of my legend! I don't think he knows what it is, that it means. I think he knows what that means. What cheek? Dynamax Pokemon are really on another level, you know. You better Dynamax your partner Pokemon, too, if you want to take on opponents that strong. You'll find spots here and there in the wild area that emit a red beam of light. If you think you're up to it, check them out. There'll be Dynamax Pokemon lurking inside. Oh, there will. So with that, how about I send you off with a little treat from me? What, what? Oh, Pokemon Box Link. What is this? What, what is this? A device that allows you to access the Pokemon storage system. There are some places where it won't work. Wait, what? So I can just switch out my team anytime I want, right? What? With the Pokemon Box Link, you'll be able to put the Pokemon from your team into your box. Or take Pokemon from your boxes to add them to your team. Nice, right? 
So, go wild catching as many Pokemon as you like, and fill in some more of your Pokédex. The wild area is waiting for you. This is the start of your real adventure. Or should I say, the start, no, of, no, your own legend. LEGEND! <laughs> ah. Hmm. Ooh, so I'm be Ooh, a jar of honey. That onyx is probably gonna beat the crap out of me. Do I have anything I can fight an onyx? Uh Ringo could fight an onyx, but that's it. Nothing else really does damage to a uh, rock type or ground type Pokemon I have. Wh what's in the grass? Hello? We're, we're, oh, they're Vulpixes. So cute. But I'm looking for new Pokemon. Pokemon I have not yet encountered on this... Uh, that's, uh, that's, I don't remember his name, but I know he evolves from Bunnelby. You found a note. Did someone drop it here? Use the right stick to rotate the camera when you're in the wild air. Huh, what a weird thing to put on a note. And if you press the right stick, you'll find you can see a wider view of things. Press the L button to look straight ahead. Interesting. I go to that den. That's a Mudbray. Mudsdale. Mudbray is the little one. I am not ready for that fight. A new Pokemon in the grass. That's a Metapod. I got a tiny mushroom. Oh, hello there. Mud Bray. More Vulpixes. Oh, Stuffle. Hello. I'm crazy strong and flush with cash. Why won't anyone battle me? How about it? Dare to take me on? Sure. Alright, snap to it. Let the battle begin. You are challenged by Pokemon Breeder, Chloe. Rookie? D do you happen to have all the starters on you? Okay. Go Galahad! I growl. Peck. Ow. Aha! Another one of those, and you are done. Actually, that was a critical hit. More peck. Ow. bag. I have one potion, and it shall be used today. Not the branch poke. Ow. Fear my pecking. I believe in you, Galahad. You have this. The power out of pecking. Victory. All right. Eins leveled up. And so did sheep and Carmelita. Okay, 
score bunny. I don't have anything I think that can fight fire. Go Carmelita! Really should give her a berry or something. Let's see. Uh, beat up. Alright, alright. We have home claws, let's do that. How much do you do? Ooh, that's a lot. Beat up. Yep, I'm Carmelita's dead. Oh! Carmelita survived! That Pokemon. Uh, let's think here. Paralyzing would be good. Good thing I didn't switch into Ringo. Nuzzle. Yep, oh, yep. Eins is dead. Eins, no! Okay. Go, Ringo. That's right, bad idea. Scratch. More scratch. Really? You should have won for Ember. Scratch again. There it is. This is gonna hurt. Ah, Ringo, no. Thug! Swift. That's why I'm using special attack. More swift. Ow. That hurt a lot. That's a level up for Thug! And a level up for Galahad. Fury attack, huh? Leer. Ta-da! Here comes Sobble! This is not gonna go well. Not at all. Sand attack! Hey. Oh! Survived! More sand attack! Yep. Goodbye, thug. You did well. Sheep! Sheep! 
I should have bought potions. Uh, tackle. More tackle. I avoided the attack. Thank you, Santa Attack. Do I have any... I have a revive. I have an orange berry. Only one, though. Let's see. Eins! I could switch. Chances using Growl again. I say it's pretty adequate. Chances of it missing. It used Pound. Uh, Nuzzle. Nope. That survived? Haha, <laughs> you've been paralyzed, friend. More nuzzle! You're still faster than me. Oh. Thought your speed was cutting. It. Then Eins is just really slow. Goodbye, Eins. You tried so hard. Probably should have healed you. With itself, we can get to town by potions. Fury attack! Are you kidding me? Just all the dodging. Really? And paralyzed! Peck. <laughs> Thank you, Eins. And goodbye, Sobble. Experience. Carmelita and Sheep leveled up. You must be pretty amazing to have beaten me. You're a regular wild area expert. Yeah, expert. That was not stressful at all because I didn't come prepared. You're crazy strong too. I'll teach you a good trick then. There are heaps of items lying, heaps of items lying around the, the wild area that people have dropped. You're around picking them up and try then selling them off. You can be off. You you can be flush with cash too. I'll work on getting even stronger yet, so come find me for another battle sometime. And she's gone. People can... That ah, it's Butterfree. Are there any, uh, Caterpie around here? I'm curious. I don't see many new Pokemon. Here? Hmm. Hi, Sonya. I got my butt kicked. Heal me! Thank you. Okay. That did not go my way. I am... I am under-leveled. Cooking at your camp can restore HP to your Pokemon, and even the PP they need to use. Their moves over and over. Pokemon that have fainted and can't battle any longer will perk right up and, well, well, with a paping, a plate of curry before them. Visit berry trees to collect plenty of berries so you can always make some more curries. Huh. Shake it. 
Three horns. Before I forget, Pokemon. Held item. Open your bag. Ornberry. No, give to Pokemon. Unburden. Gotta use that skill, man. Hmm. Whoop. Something shiny. A Pokeball! Always useful. This is a very large area. Hey, look, it's a pit of! I think it's a pit of. Yeah, it's a pit of. I think that's an oddish. Zatu? Rookie Ball? I heard a cat. Uh, the water area is overflowing with a, with a special sort of energy measured in watts. You can gather watts yourself from glowing Pokemon, den, Pokemon dens and glowing Pokemon in the wild. You'll also find trainers in the wild area who are willing to give you all sorts of items if you'll just give them some of your watts. Someone's leaving notes everywhere. Okay, let's see if we get different Pokemon. Oh, it's a Goldeen. Perfect fodder for Eins, the Thunderhound. It's faster. Nuzzle. Paralyze. More Nuzzle! You are, you are now trapped in my web, Goldeen. Fear me, I'm adorable! And we'll end it with a tackle! Awesome. I'll level up for Ainz and Thug. Snarl. What's Snarl? Special Dark Attack. I think we're of Lick. Learn Snarl instead. Awesome. Hey, look, an item. Pungent Root. One of the many ingredients that can be used for cooking at, at your camp. Huh. Though carelessly picked, these herbs can add a fragrant accent to the dish. There was two. Those are from uh, Sun and Moon, I believe. So, what would you like to do? Spend my watts. I don't need anything. Let's spend my watts. 
uh, netballs, wishing piece. Okay, and thunder, shadow ball, uh, ice beam. Okay, interesting. Hey there, trainer. You've just taken your first step into the world of camping. People call me the Camping King, and I can help you out with all your camping needs. Remember, every everyone starts out as a rookie. If you've got any questions about camping, feel free to ask me. Is there anything you want to know? Uh, I want to change the color of my tent. And I'll pick out a color that goes well with your Pokemon. Mm, yes, I see. A color that would suit Ainz. That's it. It must be the electric type's color. Nope. Alright then. We'll leave it as it is. Rate my... Okay, rate my curry decks. I remember hearing about that. But I think we'll leave it there. Feel like I should hit a... De that den is so shiny! It's so glowy and saying, come poke me. I just, I kind of want to. Oh look, Pedev again. But we'll poke this den, then head over there in the next episode. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe and join the series. Till next time, stay classy, internet. Doodles!